All right. You know what that means. Okay. Backlog! 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 gonna be sniffling over the theme song this whole time i think there's like a little delay okay with the, with the uh our yelling of the backlog <laughs> i swear we've got perfect timing yes uh hi guys welcome to the backlog this is a segment of our podcast where we uh go through, we our, go backlog through our entire game. video game collection every game we've ever bought we put into a google doc uh, almost 40 years worth of gaming history between the two of us. And we're, we're going to pick one at random Christ. and talk about it regardless of whether or not we've played it. Remember, I'm only three years away from 40. <laughs> <laughs> and if you think I've gone downhill now. This is number 811. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Sonic the Hedgehog 4, episode 1. Do you want to just do both of them? Yes. Okay. So yes. Sonic the Hedgehog 4. This is very controversial game. This is a game. very controversial game. Uh, this was an Xbox Live Arcade game, yes. correct? Yes. It was available. So it was available. Which on version is this? The 360 version. Because we also had it on iOS. We had it on iOS. Yes. This game, uh, this game was available on Xbox 360, uh, PC, PS3, iOS, uh, and at least episode one was available on the Wii. <laughs> Okay, I didn't, yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Yeah, what resolution is this? This is 1440p. It looks like oh, Jesus. trash, dude. So blurry. Yeah. Uh, now, looking back on it, this game looks terrible. It, yeah. It has not aged well, I don't think. Uh, Especially in terms of the graphics. This was an incredibly forgettable game. Yeah. But I remember it reviewed really poorly, and I really liked it. See, I remember it reviewed fine. It like, reviewed fine? Yeah. I remember people hated it. Well, yeah, the, the community hated it. Okay. Because it was supposed to be a throwback game. It was supposed to be a return to form, like, of the Genesis era Sonic games. And the community rejected it because it didn't control, like, the Genesis era oh, games. Oh, okay. Because it, it didn't have the same momentum-based gameplay that the original games had. And it got... 74 on Metacritic. I mean, for a Sonic... User score 5.6. For a Sonic game in 2010, 74 is really good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, it didn't control... I remember it controlled fine. So, like, you remember on the old Sonic games where, like, uh, where you were on, like, the loop-to-loop, -loop, like, you can gain momentum, like, going... uh, Depending on how much momentum you had, you can go up yeah. the loop-to-loop -loop a certain point and then come back down. This didn't work like that. You could just do the loop-to-loop. Oh, it just kind of sucked you in? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like when they suck you in. Yeah, no. It looks like it has homing attacks, which is yeah, not a did normal 2D Sonic homing, game. Yeah, it did have homing attacks, yeah. Thing. But it, it was fine. It was, uh, it was, I, you know, I think I just liked it because uh, I loved Sonic 3 so much. Yeah. And this was just a, supposed to be a continuation of that 20 years later. Yeah. You know? You know, it was in, it was interesting that it was specifically episode one. Um, but That sucked. That yeah. I don't like. Because <laughs> episode two came out two years later. That's crazy. I don't know if I've ever played episode two. Episode two, they added Tails. I don't remember playing episode two. Yeah. Because, like, by the time it came out, like, nobody cared. Yeah, you know, everybody the, hated the first yeah, one. Yeah, everyone hated the first one. They finally, I mean, part two was a little bit better, but, you know, it still was saddled with being a part of Sonic 4. Mm -hmm. You know, and by the time it came out, like, people had started to move on. You yeah, know? I did. Yeah. I didn't play it at all. Yeah. But no, I, I enjoyed the mix between 3D and 2D Sonic in, in the way that there's homing attacks and also, you know, moving yeah. in a 2D space. I mean, I guess the momentum was... I gotta go back and try it because, I mean, I, ha I think I have it on iOS as well. Yeah. Uh, I know it's uh, it's playable on Xbox via backwards compatibility. Oh, so, so I can just get it on my Xbox? Get it on Xbox, yeah. Okay. I wonder if that works on... Uh... On like Game Pass, or like Steam. I don't know if it's on Game Pass. Or remote players. Yeah. Well, I I'm, can, sure you know, can, I'm sure you can remote play. I'll just freaking download it in my living room and yeah. give it a, and give it a go. Yeah. Uh, again, I but I remember liking it, but what also sucks is that it is <laughs> episode <laughs> one, so I think there's only like four levels. Yeah, there were only four levels, and then episode two, uh, was the next four levels. So this. I'm looking at a long play here, uh -huh. and it is an hour long. Yeah. So that's kind of... I mean, usually these long plays are pretty quick. Like, yeah. they usually do it a little quicker than normal. But an hour, that's not That's well, not great. Well, what's cool is if you, uh, if you had both games, you get uh, an episode Metal, uh, which was you could play some of the levels again as Metal Sonic. 
And that actually tried to be a direct sequel to Sonic CD. Oh. So, like, it picks up where Sonic CD left off, and you play as Metal Sonic going through the levels of Sonic 4, like, backwards. So I just looked up a uh, long play of Sonic 3 just to see, and that's mm-hmm. also an hour. So, yeah. like, you know what? Thinking about it, like, you know, old games seem longer because you play them over and over and yeah. over again because you can't, you know, they're yeah, hard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can't get through it. But, uh, you know, you could p- play a Sega Genesis game in, like, a good hour. Mm-hmm. And this is episode one. So, I mean, what was this, like, 20 bucks when it came out? No, it was less than that. Less I want to say it was, like, 10 Maybe that's why I liked it. Ten yeah. bucks, a little quick little romp. Yeah. Get me going. You know what? Uh, also, there weren't any 2D Sonic games. This yeah, was like the were, first one in 20 years. Yeah. And it was like, you know, it was a big deal. They really, you know, despite the fact that it was like polygonal graphics, they really tried to like emulate the Genesis era with its soundtrack, with its level design. With its freaking uh, uh, bonus levels. Yeah. The worst Sonic bonus levels. Yeah, this ETWs. one sucked. <laughs> like, I hate when they like bring that back. And it, uh, the levels are very stereotypical sonic yeah levels. like this, it, it was, was the second one yeah we're already doing a casino yeah i mean they were playing the hits they were trying to like they were trying to remind people why they like sonic in the first place you know because this is coming after you know what was what was before this it was you know sonic 06 it was sonic unleashed sonic and the black knight and there's all those other oh, shitty all sonic these terrible sonic yeah. that's why i like this yeah. so much because it was some semblance of normalcy uh, normalcy yeah. yeah in the sonic world and it was a one-two punch because like episode one came out the same year as sonic colors and that was well received by everyone so True. everyone's like oh okay sonic's back so sonic is okay again and then like when people actually played sonic 4 i guess for a long enough period of time they realized no nah, this isn't the same yeah you know and then by the time episode two came out you know they added tales they really tried to make it a f- bigger event but like like I said, people have moved on. They were supposed to do more episodes. But I guess because it took them two years to do one episode, and people were like, you know, cold on Sonic 4 mm-hmm. by that point, they just gave up. Which I think stinks because, and I think an episode three with four more levels could have created like a fully robust experience. I think somebody needs to do an audit of the Sonic uh, team or, or, the, or Sega and what they've been doing with Sonic. Yeah. I, I don't understand how you could fuck it up this bad for so long i don't know man it's like especially i mean at this time it was rough yeah this time was really rough for sonic yeah but then they had colors and then generations was right after that so things were starting to look up and then and then they tanked and then nothing for years and years yeah until mania mania well that's another thing too like sonic mania essentially erased this game yeah sonic like people mania became mania. the sonic Four. exactly and i think rightfully so i yeah, think that's a abso- much think better game yeah that is uh did we, we didn't do a sonic we didn't mania do sonic mania yeah uh, sonic mania is uh it, i still like sonic 3 the most just it, but sonic mania is rightfully in consideration for like the best two they're neck sonic and game. neck they're yeah. kind of neck and neck uh so this is nowhere close. No. <laughs> this is st- I still liked this game, uh, but it is nowhere close to uh, any of the other Sonic games. No. Any of the other 2D no, Sonic I f- games. And, I f- and, you know, it kind of stinks because, you know, I think they were, they definitely had something here. Mm-hmm. They were definitely, like, trying to do a classic-style Sonic game at a time when, like, classic-style Sonic games just were not a thing. Yeah. Um, and I think they came fairly close for what they were trying to do. I just think it's a shame that like it got rejected so resoundly by the fan base. Yeah, that's un- unfortunate. Uh I would still opt to play this over Sonic 1 any day. Yeah. I'm not a huge Sonic 1. I, I would definitely I mean Sonic 2 and 3? No. 2 yeah, and 3. No, no, no. Way better. Honestly, like I would compare this to Sonic Superstars. It's like that level cuz Sonic Superstars isn't a yes. bad game. But it's it's missing like the spark that like Sonic Mania had. I forgot or... about Sonic Superstars. <laughs> it's missing the spark that like Sonic Mania had, or like the older my older games had, or even like Sonic Frontiers. Like that game had like you know an interesting you know that that game like had life to it. You know this game kind of doesn't. I'm gonna download it on my Xbox. This game, yeah, because I want to give it a go again. Just pop in and see what all the hubbub was about. Because again, yeah. I remember really liking it, but uh, everybody has their criticisms. And when I'm watching the gameplay right now, um, uh, it looks worse than I remember. Right. So uh, maybe I was on some shit when I was playing <laughs> it. 
Um, well, again, like we were starved for good Sonic at the yeah. time, and that you know at the time this was good. <laughs> yeah, it was the best that we had for a really long time. Uh, all right, well that's Sonic Four. Yes, remember remember her? Uh, thanks for watching the backlog, everybody. Uh, hey, come to a podcast sometime. Yeah, and uh, if you're watching this after the fact, we'll see you later. We're gonna continue our podcast. Yes. Goodbye. Bye.